Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name's Wyatt, and today I'll be teaching you how to script an outfit changer on Roblox. Okay, so before I show you how to make this script, I just want to show you how it works. So as you can see, I have my normal outfit on, and all we have to do is go over and step on this blue pad, and then it changes our outfit. Okay, so now that you know what this script does, I actually want to show you how to make it. So the first thing that we need to do is actually have an NPC, and the NPC will be our visual representation of what the outfit will change to, but it'll also be where we store our shirt and pants ID for what we'll change the outfit to later on. So the way we're going to do that is I'm going to use the Roblox uh, Build Rig plugin right here. It's built into Roblox, you automatically get it when you install Studio. And I'm just going to create a block rig, but you can create whatever type of rig you'd like. So now that we have our rig, it's named Dummy, so let's name it something a little user, more user friendly. I'm just going to name it Outfit Changer. And then what I'm going to do is under here, I'm going to create a new shirt which this is going to hold our shirt and then I'm going to create a new pants and this will hold our pants. So what I'm going to do is I have a shirt ID from Roblox. I'm just going to paste that in right here and see it will change the dummy's outfit to the shirt that I pasted in and I'm just going to name this value shirt right here and then I'm going to do the same thing for the pants. I have a value of pants that I found on Roblox and I'm going to put that in the pants template value and it will change our pants and we'll just name this a pants. Now what we need now is actually a piece right here that the player will be able to step on uh, that will change their outfit. So we're just going to create a new part under workspace. I'm going to resize it just a little bit so it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Uh, and we'll just set the color to blue to make it look extra nice. Uh, and then from there I'm just going to name this part outfit part. And I'm going to set the parent to the outfit changer so we have it all in one model. And now after this, we're almost done with the visual design of this model. I'm just going to clone this part, the outfit part, and I'm going to move it over and put it right underneath his feet. And I'm going to scale it up just a little bit. And this is going to be the stand that the NPC stands on. So I'm just going to name it NPC Stand. Uh, and now I'm just going to grab our little guy right here. I'm going to get all of the parts inside of him. And I'll just move him up a little. And I'll set the color to something a little nicer, maybe like a dark red color. And from here we can actually start getting into scripting. So what we're going to do to start is create a new script under the outfit part. And I'm just going to name this change outfit. Now in here, all we're going to do is have a touched event. So we're going to connect in to when this part right here, this outfit part, when it's touched. We're going to check if it's a player. And if it is a player, then we're going to set the player's clothes to the clothes of the NPC. So that might be a little bit confusing, so let me show you how we're actually going to do it. So the first thing I'm going to do is say local outfit part equals script.parent. And then I'm going to say local outfit changer equals outfit part dot parent. So the outfit changer is this, and the outfit part was that blue part I was talking about. Uh, and then from there, we actually want to get the pants template and the shirt template that we're going to set the player's outfit to when they step on the brick. So we're going to say local shirt template equals outfit changer dot shirt dot shirt template. And we say that because it is the shirt template property of this right here, of this object. And that's going to be the value that we'll set the shirt to. Uh, and then we're going to say local pants template will do the same thing equals outfit changer dot pants dot pants template. So now we have both the values that we want to set the values of the shirt and the pants to on the Roblox player. Uh, and from here we actually need to set them. We need to get the touch event and check if it's a player. So we're going to say outfit part dot touched and then we'll connect that to a function. So when it's touched the code in here is going to run. We're going to get the touch part and in our case, the touch part, if it's a player, it's going to be a right leg, a left leg. It's going to be something underneath the player model. So the first thing we're going to do to check if it's a player, we're going to say if touch part. So if it was actually touched by something, if that touch part still exists. And touch part dot parent, if the touch part is underneath of something. And touch part dot parent, now this is the important one, colon find first child call the find first child method of that and then we'll say humanoid so let's say it was touched by the right leg well the parent of the right leg is the character 
and the character always has a humanoid. So that's how we check to make sure it's a player that's actually stepping on our part. So we'll add a then to that and it'll end it off. Uh, and then in here, we'll just say print touched by player, just so that we know and we have a print just so that we understand that it was touched by the player. Um, and then from there, let's create a variable with the actual player object. So as I was saying before, in this case, if we get into here, if we get into this if statement, touch tarp part dot parent is equal to the character. So touch, we'll just create a variable with the character. We'll say local character equals touch part dot parent, just like that. Uh, and then from there, all we have to do is set the shirt of the character, the shirt template of the character to our shirt template and the pants template of the character to our pants template. So we're just going to say character. So pretend this is our character. It's not, but it's in the same exact layout. So we'll say character dot shirt, which is right here, dot shirt template. We're changing that value equals shirt template. So we're setting the shirt template of the player, the player's character to our own shirt template. And then we're going to do the same thing for the pants. We'll just say character dot pants dot pants template equals pants template. And that should be it. You could always do a little bit more animation if you wanted to change the color of the part when the player stepped on it. But I'm going to keep this nice and simple for you. If we go over and we step on, so this is my normal outfit that I have on right now. And if we step on this blue part, it changes our shirt to the shirt of the outfit changer. And it changes our pants to the pants of the outfit changer. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you learned something new today about scripting on Roblox. As always, I'll have the pastewin link with the code and the Roblox model link for all the assets shown in this video in the description. And I'll see you guys later.